We're going to approach our patient and don't forget to look up. Walk all the way around our patient looking for dangers because you are the most important person. We're going to approach our patient from the top end. This is your no strike zone. Hello, can you hear me? Open your eyes, what's your name? Squeeze my fingers. We do this so we get a response from our patient and this is from a safe area. There's no response so we're going to call for help. Hello, can you go and call an ambulance please for me and come back and tell me when you call the ambulance. We're now going to check out the patient's airway. Whilst we're behind the patient, put our fingers under the jaw of the patient, pull back and push the chin open and you can look down and see if there's any vomitous material down there. We found there is some vomitous material. We're going to roll our patient into the recovery position. We'll show you an easy way to do the recovery position later on. Bring our patient back, we're going to check for the airway, the breathing. Hand the diaphragm, ear over the mouth and look at the chest rise and fall. If your patient's breathing, we'll roll them back in the recovery position. If they're not breathing, that means they're in cardiac arrest. We're going to start CPR. Place the patient's arm between your legs. Come close to the patient, placing your hand over the patient's sternum between the nipple line. We'll then start doing compressions at a rate of 30 compressions to two breaths, compressing the chest a third of the depth of the chest each time, like so. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Head tilt, jaw elevation, and do two breaths. Making sure the chest rises, and then come back and continue thirty compressions again, and then do two more breaths. <laughs> 